Sammy. We're going to use Daddy's camera to film it. We'll only crash the train once, okay? Then after we get the film developed, you can watch it crash over and over till it's not so scary anymore. And your real train won't ever get broken. One more thing, Dolly. Let's not tell your father. It'll be our secret movie, just yours and mine. Okay? Okay. Okay, this is a weird one. Um, I was trying to come up with, like, creative intros here and, and like, and just, like, trying to be like, well, that was weird or something and trying to be, like, special, crooked. <laughs> Fail. Um, <laughs> there, there, was a, there was an attempt. Um, hello and welcome to my review of the movie The Fablemans. Uh, I just got done seeing this and... I don't know what to think about it, to be honest, because it's, it's good, but also, like, um, but also, like, weird, and kind of, I don't know, it, it, and weird, not in a good way, like, like okay, so this movie, like, it's, it's, this, this movie, obviously, so, so, I say obviously, so this movie is, um, is directed by Steven Spielberg, and this is a fictional story based on Steven Spielberg's own life. Yes, that kind of, that kind of feels like an ego trip, but um, <laughs> that kind of feels like an ego thing. But it's um, they're just like oh, he's stroking his own ego, like oh, this is my life, this is how I became this great man, kind of thing. At the same time, it's like I don't know. <laughs> that's an exaggeration like he's, he's just talking about his life it was like a autobiography it's an autobiopic i think that which is not which is not often done i i don't think that's been really done which said hey there you go but like so this story so this movie for the most part is good like it's well put together it's the good camera angles, good camera work, really writing was like with, with like how the the filming. Because this story is like, I feel like you enjoy this way more if you're a filmmaker yourself or you want to be one. Because this movie obviously is about a filmmaker. Obviously with Steven Spielberg. So it talks about how a, a creative's mind works and like what how they see the movies and like all the creativity. And you know how they feel. I understand him, them. And... I'm glad. Like, 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 I appreciate that. But here's my issue. Is this movie feels like, I'd like to say, two to three separate movies. And you'd be like, wait, what? Um, I'm confused. Wait, hold on, what? There's uh, movie one, which is, um, which is young, which is, uh, which is uh, the first stage where it's like, there's like the first year. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. Wow, it's like there's, there's like this movie is like in three different sections. And it feels like like two big sections and then one small section at the end, because this movie feels like three separate movies because they feel very detached from each other. Like yes, they're talking about the same life, they're talking about the same occurrences, but the movie feels like it's split into three, with like the beginning and the thing is the beginning was like building to like a good story and all that, and then it just like uh there's like a like a time skip and like a year later and then the movie feels completely different it just feels like complete like a whole new movie yeah, same characters but it just feels completely different you know what i mean and i like guess instead of talking about like oh the film i wrote like, i started talking about like high school life and then and then just like and then, and then, and then, in the last stage, it felt like a whole different movie. Like, like, like it felt like a whole different like. Like, there was there, there was like yes, well, there's connective tissue. There's not like any solid connect like, like connective tissue. You know what I mean? Like, like these these three pieces, they don't really go together. Like yes, on their own, they're good. Except the last section. Last section is just okay. But, um, the first six, they're, they're good on their own, 
But together, back to back, it feels so weird. You feel me? And that's what makes it challenging in my head to think about it. Because it's just like, I don't know what to think with it, you know? And um, I just realized, I, uh, hopefully I wasn't messing with my watch throughout that review because I just realized I did. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, just like, it's like, feels like three different pieces. But um, outside of that, I do like the, some of the uh, the acting. I like the camera work. I like the writing for the most part. There's one scene that I absolutely like. It's just like, what? Weird. Weird. But, um, <laughs> but, um, and I'm like some of the some of the some of the actions don't really make sense. Like, oh, why would he react this way or something? Um, and all that. But like, overall, like the acting was good. Like, like okay, so like, um, I had to look up the actors, uh, because I, I had to pause there just in case uh, it cut me off. So, the mo the movie has a couple people in this that, um. Like, I'll see how to do good. The main character, the main guy, uh, Gabriel, uh, I guess it's, yeah, his name is Gabriel LaBelle. Gabriel LaBelle does actually a really good job as the main character, and I am impressed by his work. But I wanted to do, like, the, the, the star performances is obviously, I think, the most um, known of them. Uh, we have Michelle Williams playing his mother, the main character's mother. She does an excellent job for playing such a weird character. And she's such, she's really kind of weird. And um, there's probably an explanation for this. But it's like, there's a weirdness to this character. That is like entertaining, but also off-putting. But also another actor is... And this is Paul Dano playing Dad, and he does an excellent job playing a character, playing this, playing his, uh, the dad, and it's like, there's such a, co I think he, he is, like, not my favorite character, because I think the, I like the main character, I like it the, because I was the filmmaker angle and all this stuff, but Paul Dano is so well written, because you understand the character, because, like, it's just like he's a guy. He's a very like he plays a very smart guy, and I just think he was written so well. And and Paul Dano displayed that character super well. I think the acting for when those two, Michelle Williams and Paul Dano, I think they played a really good. And um, Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen is a weird casting pick because you always. I, I feel like I could never take Seth Rogen that seriously and you're like oh it's like it's because he i don't know it's maybe his laugh maybe it's like but i actually do like what he contributed to this movie um and obviously actually no i i, I say you can't take seth rogan seriously and then they're like boy the, the boys <laughs> he's the he's he's the executive producer of the boys he's the reason it exists so it's like he's like one of the reasons this show exists you can take him seriously. Um, but, like, he's, just like, as an actor, he's really, like, kind of weird to me. But he also did sort of a really good role. And he, he played to his, uh, to what I know of is to be his strengths, while also playing a more nuanced role in this movie. So I did like Seth Rogen in this somehow. <laughs> Why are you so shocked? Um... <laughs> But yeah, uh... Sorry, but I would take this segment here. Uh, I'm gonna kind of put myself in the middle. Uh, um, I just have to question something about... Spoiler alert, real quickly, before I... Uh, so skip over me being on the screen, if you won't want to be spoiled. Um, but I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. So there's just a spoiler alert for this little section here. Um, I don't completely understand how Michelle Williams' character, the mother, um, fell for Seth the Rogen over Paul Dano's character, the dad? Like, yeah, Seth Rogen's funnier, but, I don't know, in the looks department, Paul Dano's a way better, even though they're both nerdy little fellows, you know? <laughs> nerdy little fellows. But, I don't know. 
I don't know. I can't be the judge, honestly. Funny guys are probably better. Yeah, straight men. Um, others. Uh, the sisters were pretty entertaining. There is one character that I was not the biggest fan of. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it was, like, it was it was a girl. Um, and you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's like kind of like, you're weird. You're weird. Like. It was more like, like, one scene. Her introduction... Her basically, like, like her full-fledged introduction scene. Like, the scene after she was, like, they, they, they met... The main character met her. She was like, you're weird! You're weird! Like, 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 I'm a Christian, right? But she's like... That's... There's... There, there's... There's a love of Christ and there's an obsession. And... You know, I remember thinking, what's wrong with being obsessed with God? You know, you, you want you to love him with all your heart. Like, I mean, you're number one. It's like, but there's... Y when you watch the movie, you'll understand what I mean. It's like, there's a little weirdness. Like, she she looks, she, she, she acts like a crazy person. And that's why I'm like, I kind of pull back. Because, like, even, like, me and, like, I was watching this with my mom... And she was like, what, what, what? I was like, you're weird. <laughs> this character is weird. But uh, I did not appreciate that, like, for the most part. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, so, yeah, so, uh, my, main, my main complaint is that that one scene, with the introduction scene with that one girl, and that the movie did not feel like a whole movie, it felt like three different ones. And yes, like it's like, oh, it's different stages of his life. Yes, sure. But like, um, it's just like, I feel like everything should have be connected if it's one movie, you know what I mean? And a uh, complaint here, and, and I also want to do this. We're, 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 we're talking along a lot here. Is the third part. The third part is really weird. And I think the ending is kind of weak. Because, like, I just feel like there needed to be more to it. Like, this is a long movie. This is two hours and 30 minutes. This is, like, one of those, like, blockbuster length movies. But not, 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 like, not like Avatar 2, which is going to be three hours. Or, like, Avengers Endgame. Mm, yeah, no, not, not, not that length. But, like, it's a long movie. But I, somehow we did not conclude. It like like yes, this is about a life. So of course, uh, like uh, uh, us ending there is obviously not a complete life story. But like I feel like there should be like a res more of a resolve. Like I feel like I was just left in like kind of confused, and then like I don't know. It's just it felt weaker in a bit weird to me and um yeah so overall i did enjoy this film for the most part but i do have some solid critiques uh that will do bring it down but i think the the good crafting the great acting i do think and the great like camera work and steven spielberg you can tell poured his heart into this film for obvious reasons um but like i just think that it shouldn't have felt like three different movies you know what i mean like this feels like such a passion project which i will give it credit for because it definitely 100 percent feels like a passion project and i do appreciate it for that but um besides that i think if i were going to get this um want a rating i feel like i should wrap this up because i've been talking for a long time but um if i were to give this movie a rating i would probably give it about a a mid eight to a light like 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 maybe like a sliver of nine or maybe just or just maybe like a like a mid eight to a high eight like just just eight like maybe maybe like a sliver nine, but like eight is my solid source here because like there's like a lot of good things, but there's also things that pulled me back, and it's just like there's kind of like a tug of war, 
and but I think the good things do outweigh the bad things, so I think A is the only way I can fight this and and put it balanced. So yeah, I think with that I will wrap up this review right here, eight out of ten, and. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, comment what you thought of the video if you've seen the video, if you've seen the movie, comment what you thought of the movie if you've seen the movie, or comment what you think of the video, who knows, you, you, you can do that if you want, I prefer you talk about the movie, but you know, um, I don't know if this is going to post on Instagram because I've been really struggling with it, but just in case, if you're on Instagram, feel free to like, comment, follow, put it on your story, you know, something like that. And with that, I will. See, I, I I hope you all enjoyed my re review. Uh, if you enjoyed, you can feel free to check out some other content that I've made. I've made some other more movie reviews, and I made some series reviews. I'm in the middle of some, some series right now, and I'm, not, I'm about to probably start with some one soon. And with that, I think I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.